what up youtube i'm back so it was a good bow to episode my bad if it, this review is this late you know but it was a good episode man i really enjoyed it a lot more than last week's episode even though there was kind of a battle with uh you know the the kids like shikadai and all of them but i really like this week's episode because they talked about the mangekyo sharingan and sarada because sakura is kind of scared of what could happen so that uh sarada awakens uh the mangekyo sharingan we all know that the way to awaken the mangekyo sharingan is to have a huge loss you know like sasuke had with itachi and like itachi had with shisui you know so sakura is kind of scared of that and she's scared of you know letting sarada do her thing you know because she's a shinobi and shinobi a lot of a lot of the times are in danger you know so I thought that discussion that they had in this week's episode was pretty great you know we had a, a, a scene with Ino, Hinata and Sakura together you know talking about their kids and what they were when they were kids you know I thought that was a great scene I really liked that scene and obviously I really liked the discussion around Sarada and her Mangekyo Sharingan you know because um, something huge has to happen for her to awaken the Mangekyo Sharingan and she even asked Sasuke about it and Sasuke didn't want to give the answer you know because he knows how big of a loss he had when Itachi died you know so I thought all of that was pretty amazing obviously this episode wasn't only only about sarada but also about boruto because he wanted to create a new more powerful rasengan and shigada shikadai actually helped him uh, train and you know we already know that he created a new uh rasengan two episodes ago i think it's called wind style rasengan and it's pretty cool it's nothing special in my opinion you know it's not like the rasen shuriken but it's pretty cool um, but he's trying to create an, another one, you know, so that's kind of crazy that he's creating all this sort of Rasengan, but uh, it seems like at, by the end of the episode, he was able to do that, and because of that, Kakashi actually, uh, you know, wanted Boto to use it against someone, you know, so it, this someone is Shojujo, uh, obviously he's the villain of the last arc, you know, that was manga related, Obviously, I don't know that what happens in next week's episode if it wasn't the manga, but we know that the villain Shujujo is actually canon, you know? What happened in the last arc with, you know, the kid and everything, it actually happened in the manga. So, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see, man, because he was pretty strong, even though uh, Boto was able to, to defeat him. But, yeah, man, I can't wait to see what's the new Rasengan that Boto uses in next week's episode and going from there uh you know i really don't know what the hell is happening you know so i can't wait man but it was a pretty good bow to naruto next generation episode i liked it it was it was enjoyable you know and something that i have to say about the bow to anime is that it's pretty consistent with the animation and art you know sometimes there's little things that are bad but for the most part it's pretty consistent so shout out to the animators because i thought that this week's episode was pretty well done but yeah man but yeah man i do both on our next generation reviews every sunday so subscribe for that but i also do other anime related things like one piece reviews usually on saturdays and then jujutsu kaisen reviews on friday so subscribe for all of that i can't wait for next week's episode because i actually think that the fight that they these two will have will be pretty well animated you know so stay tuned but uh, like, comment, subscribe, it would help my channel a lot and follow me at Anime Specialist on Twitter and Instagram, man. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Anime Specialist out. Peace.